One Frank Tillmans is from Berlin, Germany. He lived in London for 25 years. He's a photographer. He titled his contemporary work of art, Fragile. It's a poetic title. It is not descriptive, but at the same time, it is uh, something that I felt close to for a long time in my life. When I understood my own fragility, I guess life is lived better when you understand and accept your own fragility rather than fight it. And I found that people who accepted it um, were, for me, more interesting, more caring, loving, interesting people, whereas people who always want to be strong and uh, don't admit to their fragility um, are shutting down, closing in, and ultimately losing out and are not that strong. The pictures are big and strong, but they are actually very fragile. They are hanging here without frames, uh, just the thin sheets of paper with the luscious colors on them. There is a coexistence between strength and fragility, and that's something that I love in people as well. Different facets of life are represented here, and Wolfgang says, is deliberate. One overarching interest is uh, to make pictures that describe what it feels like to live today because I think that is an interest that artists always have. They have made art for kings and the church and for rich collectors but within it they always wanted to talk about the time that they lived in. And I wanted to show a respectful, caring gaze, looking at the world without fear and using the eyes freely. He's a widely traveled artist. There are pictures from the eight African countries that I visited, pictures from China, the United States, Russia, England, Germany. It's a whole range from all over the world which maybe stems from also a feeling that there's more that connects people than divides people. Gote Institute Nigeria probably identifies with Wolfgang Tillmans. One of our missions is to um, present German culture and German art to Nigeria, to the Nigerian art scene. And when I got the possibility to invite Wolfgang Tillmans to Nigeria, I was very excited because this is um, for me speaking about Germany in a very unique way. It's maybe not um, the image of Germany that people usually have when they think of Oktoberfest, the beer drinking culture, Bavaria, Mercedes, or when they think of the cars and the streets, etc. But for me this is much more valuable because this is German culture in all its complexity. It's about club culture, of people going out, of people enjoying themselves. It's also very much about body politics, how young people feel in their bodies and how young people try to get comfortable. Center for Contemporary Art Lagos is a place where great minds who love contemporary art converge. CCA is big on collaborations, right? And more co of collaborations, we also like to um, work on our tenets. So why we brought in a German photographer is because we have a collaboration with Goethe Institute. Much more, the exhibition has been touring in West Africa. So Lagos is the last stop for it before it goes to New York and then goes back to Germany. And much more because BC is big on standing for lens-based art. We had to take this out because of how critical his work is to um, a lot of research, a lot of intentionality in creating such kind of work, especially when you are using the lens as your medium. People from all walks of life came to see this solo exhibition. I mean, I'm familiar with the work of Wolfgang Tillmans. I've seen it, I've seen it before and uh, it speaks to me because we are more or less the same generation. The photographs are very, very familiar. and uh, I think the beauty of it is in the fact that it's taking pictures of everyday life of very, very small things, not of the events or the big things in the world, but of the very, very small things of everyday life. Photography is a very interesting uh, medium, and it is very unique, and is a very important uh, language now in the contemporary times like this. Photography deals with subjectivity. So you see Wolfgang's work circling all these areas, you know, and it's very amazing how he has 
presented it. And when you look at it, they are not really framed. <laughs> you know, they are not framed. So he's looking at that officiousness of photography, of art, and trying to exit that um, box. We call it the white box, even though he's showing it the box in a box like the conventional gallery space. The thing, first thing that comes to mind that. Uh the motives and the styles of photography are actually quite diverse. I think the artist takes different themes, different kinds of settings, people, dead objects, mixture of both. It's also interesting how it mixes the formats, very small ones with fairly large formats. Center for Contemporary Art Lagos was established by late B.C. Silva. Her veteran actress sister, Joke Silva, also came to see the exhibition. This is Wolfgang. Tillman's second visit to Lagos. Everywhere um, we went before on the African continent, people are excited about music and art from Nigeria, from Lagos. And uh, it was clear that I wanted to also uh, see what it's like and, and bring my work um, here. I was told before that people in Lagos are very brash and, uh, and can, can be a bit direct and almost a bit aggressive and I must say I found people very gentle I mean one-to-one uh, -one. Uh, I found people very uh, gentle very open and uh, and they know that they are living in a very cool city Wolfgang Tillmans is a curious photographer who presents everyday life in an artistic and inspiring ways